check this out. This is the newest ADO Air e-bike called the Air 28. And with this, they are taking the Air concept to the next level. This is, of course, once again developed by ADO in-house in their very own labs called the ADO Lab. A few months ago, they kickstarted the ADO Air concept with their brand new ADO Air. You can check out the video right here, the folding e-bike revolution. The video did really well, definitely worth a watch. And with the Air 28, they basically took all these great ingredients and made it well, a bit bigger, as you can see, more rugged more carrying capacity. So we get all the bleeding edge features, all the bleeding edge tech, but in a more regular size. Pretty dope, right? Yeah, now they're going for a narrow crowdfunding campaign for their newest invention. So let's take a look at this very early prototype and let's see if it is actually good. New drip. Got a new drip from ADO, an early prototype of the Air 28. By the way, if you're interested already, then check out the product links in the description. I will list and link the best deals for you. And now let's check it out. So it already kind of unboxed itself. So let me clean that up, remove all these protective wraps. So, and here we have the actual box looking really interesting, the new air concept. Yeah, and before we can get to the setup, let's of course check out the accessories. To be clear, this is not the final release. That's why there is no charger, no manual, but we can already take a look at the pedals, for example. Nice big metal pedals. This is what they look like, left and right, of course. Backlight included, of course, with batteries. So check it out, two modes on off. We will also get a bunch of screws for mounting the back rack and also the wheels front wheel, all of the good stuff. And lastly, of course, the saddle. As we know it from the air concept with this nice round insert tip, then the scale right here. Here we have the connector and also the charge port. And on the front side, underneath the saddle, we have the on off button to activate it. And with this screw down here, we can adjust the saddle position. We can move it forwards or backwards. And that's the saddle itself, nice and soft. So let's get to the setup. The kickstand was pre-installed, so let's install the front wheel so that the kickstand will actually work. So that's better. Now it can stand on its own. So I will start in the front and move all the way to the back. Let's do it. Nice. Check this out. There we have it. Done with the unboxing and with the setup. And now let's get to my first impressions and then to a close overview. ADO's Air concept is hands down my favorite e-bike concept from this company. And now they took this platform that was developed for a really small foldable e-bike. And now they brought it to a regular sized step through bike. That means we will have excellent hydraulic brakes in the front and in the back, a maintenance-free silent belt drive, the amazing removable battery concept, and it's also still super light. That's why it's called air, of course. Ergonomically shaped handlebar, a really interesting concept. I like it. Yeah, now let's take a close look. And of course, I forgot to mention the mud guards in the front and in the back. So nice disc brake reflectors, large mud guard as well, so you will stay dry for sure. We also have a shock suspension in the front, nice front light of course, cable management through the frame. You can even lock the front suspension, amazing feature, powerful dual LED front light. This is the handlebar, as I said, ergonomically shaped, amazing hydraulic brakes and check this out. New display and also new controller looking really refined and amazing haptic feedback. Whoa. We also have a really cool bell. I've never seen something like this before. Very interesting pinger. By the way, you can open up the bell and insert an air tag for tracking your bike. What an amazing idea. So check this out. You can just screw it open and right here you can insert the air tag and it's even padded as you saw. Other brake and nice stitching, nice leather cover. This is the end cap feeling nice in the hand. Good grip, really cool. Saddle of course with the on off button. Let's actually turn it on. Then right here the back wheel, nice disc brake, nice caliper with the kickstand straight out of the box. The air branding down here. And right here we can see the battery connection port. This is so nice, I love it. You basically twist it, then you, it will pop out and inserting it will look like this. Down here we of course have the motor and the belt drive, which is always a great sight. And here we have the other side of the frame. Decent branding, not bad, right? So let's finally test it. So here we go. The weather is quite acceptable, but even when it's a rainy day, it should be no problem. The whole bike is IPX5 certified and the display 
IPX7. So it's quite weather resistant to say the least. And once again, this is not the rack for the final release. Okay, enough said. Let's get started. First of all, we need to turn on the battery and now press and hold the power button. And now check this out. This is such a gorgeous display, pretty much twice as large as on the other air models. So with the plus and minus, we can of course cycle through the three pedal assist modes from zero to three and the color will change as well. Nice touch. Press and hold the plus button will turn on the light dual LED flash in the front. Pressing and holding the minus button will activate the walking assist. You can see it right here, right here. Did you see it? And down here we of course have the odometer, the trip and the average ride speed. So let's go all the way to zero. And as always, I will first of all test it without any power. So saddle a bit higher and the brakes are truly excellent. The gearing isn't too bad. So even a slight incline like this is no problem. And now we have a regular street, so let's see. All right, so 19 kph with pretty much no effort. And when I put a bit of strength into it, then around 22 without, all right, 23. As you can see, even without power, it is absolutely no problem to drive this bike very well. Thanks to the big wheel, it's super stable, very nice ride feeling, pretty awesome. Okay, we're ready for the first stage. So nice as always, the torque sensor is doing such an amazing job. And thanks to the mud guard, a bit of water on the ground is no issue either. So on stage one, with no effort whatsoever, this will take us up to around 22 kph. Now on stage two, a bit more. And on stage three, here we go, all the way up to 25 kph. No effort whatsoever, it's feeling great. Good stuff, and now let's switch it up. So here we go with a bit of third person action. Pedal assist stage three. Let's go. Brake test. 10 out of 10. And zero start. Oh, so easy with the pedal assist. Oh my goodness. Okay, let's go. Just a bit over 25 kph. It's feeling really nice. It's literally no effort whatsoever. This is so nice. Bell is pretty dope too. These brakes are so nice. Okay, let's go for a high speed test. High speed, how fast can we go? 28, 29, 30. All right, so with a bit of effort, I can hit 30 kph easily. Nice. A zero start, check this out. It's so easy, it is amazing. All right, and now check it out. This is the bike from the side. It's looking really nice actually. And here it is from the back, uh, a bit from the ground, so yeah. And of course from the front, it's a really nice looking bike. It has a, a regular size basically. And again, a bit of free-handed riding, check it out. Such a stable ride feeling. Of course, of course, thanks to the large wheels, saddle feels nice. Riding this is just amazing. So yeah, if you want a regular sized bike, this is it. Great hydraulic brakes. The torque sensor is so smooth. And even gravel roads are no problem. Bit of gravel, no issue whatsoever. Thanks to the front fork suspension, it's working really nicely. And you can also lock it. Now this suspension is fixed. And again, open it up. And here we go, back again at absorbing those shocks. So after a good two kilometers of riding it, I can say that the brakes are amazing, the torque sensor is amazing, the ride feeling is spectacular. You have a nice upright posture. The handlebar is super ergonomic. All in all, it's a joy to ride it. I love ADO's air concept. Of course, my apparel is pristine thanks to the mud guards, and it just looks nice. Big thumbs up from my side. ADO also provides a free companion app. You can connect to your bike to see the charge level, the mileage, all the infos. You can also turn on and off the light as you saw. Gradual fade in and fade out, very pleasing. You can check your records and you can also contact the support and find out more infos about the company. And best of all is of course the built-in navigation feature that will make full use of the gorgeous display. Big bike, big screen, it's beautiful and perfect for navigating. And thanks to this there is no need to mount your phone on the handlebar. The screen will show you everything that you need to know it will show you the turns, it will even show you the distance and of course all the other riding infos. So all in all this is a perfect stress-free riding experience from start to finish. Your destination is on the right. 
I cannot get enough of the ADO Air line. So nice, so smooth, so powerful, so responsive. Great displays, it's all there. I love it. This new display is even better actually. It's the best I've seen so far. So this is truly the ultimate all-rounder urban commuter e-bike. The reason why it's so smooth is of course the new G-Drive 5.0 torque sensor in combination with the carbon belt drive. The reason for the huge range and for the power is the battery, the Samsung battery right underneath the saddle, removable and also with a massive range of up to 100 kilometers, which is pretty crazy still nowadays. And the reason why it's so comfy is a great looking step through frame, the saddle and also the adjustable front fork suspension and also the silent maintenance-free carbon belt. No oil, you won't get dirty, no services, and it will stay this way for up to 30,000 kilometers. 30,000 kilometers of hassle-free riding, the best. And it is, it is still, on top of that, it is still a very light bike. And it is safe too, thanks to the responsive and powerful hydraulic brakes, also thanks to the build quality of the frame and all of the other used components. The build quality of the whole air line is outstanding and aside from the newest tech it also offers a really nice looking screen as I said and also some really convenient built-in navigation features with the companion app by ADO. Definitely trippy. Check out the product links in the description if you're interested. I will list and link the best deals for you but before you go smash that like button then subscribe ring the bell and click all to never miss amazing tech magnet videos. That's it for this one enjoy the and I will see you soon.